between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Viktor Frankl. So much of life comes down to how we arrange and internalize what we see. Our realities will always be comprised of what we choose to look at. Now that's not to say the unfortunate or quote-unquote bad things aren't present. But whether or not you choose to keep them in your life, in your field of vision, that's on you. Here are two ways I like to explain this. The first was explained to me as a curtain hung from a stage. And this curtain has holes and tears all throughout. On the other side of the curtain, there's an auditorium, some chairs, aisles, a few lights. But depending on which hole or tear you chose to look out of, you'd see a different piece of that picture. And it can be said that the curtain is life, and the hole you choose to look through makes up your reality the little piece of information you choose to consume. Because life is certainly complex, right? There are too many images and variables for us to notice all of them. That's impossible. We'd collapse in on ourselves. We have to pick a few. Which means that our entire existence from the time we're born to the time we die is dependent entirely on which details we choose to focus on which ones we use to tell our story. Which leads me to the second example. Let's say you decide you're going to walk to your car. You open your front door, you walk down your driveway, right up to your car, open the door and get in. Your story was, I am going to my car. And so everything you experienced was related to that. In the sense that You didn't notice the driveway of the person seven houses down. You weren't looking for that. And you didn't notice the potholes across the street. You weren't looking for that either. You didn't think about the funny shaped cloud over your head. That wasn't on your mind. Why would it be? All these things weren't part of the story, right? And the idea is we are very selective of the things we pay attention to. We use a small fraction of the world to tell our stories. And this matters because when we are down or stuck or disappointed or whatever it is, it's not that you don't have a reason to be where emotional creatures and things happen, but it is true that you don't have to stay there. That the little hole you are looking out of from behind the curtain may not be serving you. Your viewpoint may not be the best viewpoint. But it's in your control, right? You choose what hole you want to look through and then use life to create supporting details. When you're focusing on the negative or why you aren't good enough, you'll find things that support that narrative. Choose a different story and you'll start seeing different pieces that support it. I'm sure you've all uh, heard how when you're looking to buy a car, you start seeing more and more of that car on the road. It's not because they suddenly appeared overnight on 95. No, they've always been there. They've been in the mix. But now it's become a part of your story. You're looking through a new hole in the curtain. Therefore, your focus has changed. And that's what I mean when I say reality is a choice. The details will match your beliefs. Believe you are incredible, you'll find evidence. Believe this is just the beginning of something beautiful and you'll find the details necessary to bring it to life. You get what you focus on. So focus on the things that will propel you forward because trust me, they're there.